all the heat tape. Poor thing's just been a shelf with it. It's nuts to see in person. That's cool though. This poor motor's been through a lot. And it just doesn't care. So that like, just mostly with, because like, I'm trying to order the vinyl uh, stuff that's close enough to like the BMW. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be Oracle, so it's not going to be like the highest. It's going to be the highest quality. Like the one. This thing is sick. So it's. 4.4 V8 with the BMW 6 speed as well. You can see where he cut the factory Mark III frame rail, tubed it all forward. I think he said S13 knuckles he had made, all custom like headers and stuff, but this thing is full blown wide body drift car in a Mark III. Such a cool thing. Just taking it all in. You can see all the fenders that are all metal he made himself. The crash part in here. Yeah. Uh, this cool. You can see the metal wide body in the back as well. Yep. Full blown V8 wide body Mark III. There's, a, there's this thing, which was an X5, and now it has an LSX in it from Texas Speed. Ridiculous. Suspension, 40 inch wheels over there, or 40 inch tires over there. But just. This thing is nuts. And it's going to SEMA. And it's just. This thing's awesome. It's super duty rear end and front end. All custom, everything. Everything's tubed, welded in. Yeah, like I said, yeah. My first question was, will it hit jumps? And he said, it'll hit jumps. So, hyped for that. And then there's this. So you might think this is just a, you know, Safari Porsche 944, which it is, but full cage, you know, the bucket seats, the whole works, but about to try and pop the hood later. I've been told this is 07 K swap, so 2.5, and it's boosted. And the car makes like 500 horsepower. And you would never think, looking at a Porsche, it has a Volkswagen 2.5 cylinder with a turbo. So hopefully, we can open this up and maybe hear it run. But this is cool. Top my eye. I've always been a fan of 944s, and this one's got a turbo on it and a five cylinder, and it looks awesome. Very cool. So hopefully for today, we can uh, maybe hear this thing start up. When they first said 2.5 swap, I was kind of like, eh. But then I heard turbo, and I was like, okay, now I'm in. Yep. It's pistons, rods, so uh, cat cams, solid full, lifter. Fully built 2.5 yeah. with a turbo. Mm -hmm. And did they make it like 500, that other thing? It did 530 on? wheel on 19 Jeez. pounds of boost on Jeez. 93 still. So oh, wow. So there's a lot to go. Flex there's so, a lot to go. Yeah. Wow. There's a lot left. So how can we chose... A 2.5 of all engines. That's very, seems like a very weird choice for this um, car. Because, so I, I bought this car to do. Wait, this is your car? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought it was this car. Also, Mike's car with all the rest of the cool stuff. Yep, yep. Very cool. 
Yep. So I've built this to do stage rally things. Okay. I haven't had the chance. There's been a couple little bugs with it, but yeah, it, that's the intent. And the best noises of yeah. rally are five cylinder turbo you're, noises. You're not wrong. That's the whole. That's oh, it. That's now why. it's making plenty of sense of why you picked the two point. Okay, I get it now. Yep. I see. I mean, noises. It's strictly. And noise. it looks so good in the here. Like yeah. that fits very well. I'm gonna bump around real quick. Yeah. See this side. So is it a pain to mount it, get it all run properly? Um, they make a kit. So this is guys in Cincinnati, Blues Brothers. Or is it a kit 425 and a 944? Yeah. I'm, so learning, I'm like, learning so many things right yeah. now. They had just some miserable power plants, so. That's what I was saying. I, I love the platform. I would never expect this, but I understand the one more power and yep. five cylinder turbo. Like can't the, wrong. The chassis itself is a ton of fun. It's oh, really yeah. dynamic and gives you a ton of feedback. You see a lot of uh, V8s in these things as well. Just yep. get rid of the original power plant, more power, more reliability. Yep, exactly. But yeah, this has been a, a popular desirable swap. So they make the motor mounts, it's got like the SFI bell housing they make. They modify the pan and sell you the intake. And I would have never, I've, I've so. never heard of this, but like it makes total sense now you're saying everything, but like dang. Yeah. Boost Brothers Garage, they make the kit. Okay. So it's a good group of guys. It's a weird, the 944 community is awesome. It's like super tight. Oh, yeah. They do a 944 fest every year. Yeah. It's the Nelson's Ledges and like. Well, I walked back and I saw it right away. I'm like, oh, like, that's kind of like Safari 944. It's lifted and it was awesome. Yep. And now it's got, like, the cage, the full engine and everything. Yep, it's a live booked. I got it certified for all that stuff. So, so you're ready to go. Yep. Dang. It's just a, I converted the rear suspension to, like, big Bilstein coilovers. Yeah. And some of the shock tuning, like, I didn't really have the shock set up correctly at first. Okay. And then me diving into tuning shocks, like... You yeah. have to take those apart. It's an off-road shock, kind of like the big stuff. On okay. There. So you get to pull them apart. To make it work properly. Out, put it back in. Okay. Recharge them. And I've never done that before. So it took me a couple of tries to get it close. Yeah, but you learned something new. Exactly. I mean, it's fine. It's just I'm like, seeing all the little, your kill switches up here. Yep. Got a lot, fire of, a lot of good details on this thing. And I like the, uh, the roof scoops. Yep. Everything's caves and all the gussets. And this thing is cool, dude. You put a lot of really cool stuff. I'm inspired by all your engineering. and. I try. That's awesome. I try. Hey, now I have a need for a 944 with a 2.5 swap. Yeah, I mean, this thing's so much fun. I mean, I can't, yeah, I mean, this thing with 500 horsepower, I can't even imagine. Yeah, it revs, it wants to rev to like nine. I had the, uh, the limiter said 8,500. To nine? Wow, I would not have guessed that. Yeah, 8,500 is still making power. I couldn't. Jeez. You said 19 pounds of boost. That's, yeah. And I have a, on 93, on a so you have a lot to, to still go if you want to really send it. Oh yeah. So what do you think on like, if you went to like flex fuel and pump the boost, do you think like, Maybe closer to seven if you went I crazy. Probably, yeah, you could probably get it to seven. <laughs> I could imagine seven hundred and a nine four four. And the transaxle is the weak link as it is right now. Okay. So this is just an NA transaxle. Yeah. They're known to be like pretty weak. So what transmission are you running in the car? The stock nine four four NA. Okay. So an adapter to bolt together. So yeah, the trans in the back of the nine four four. Okay. So you know, sort of like a, you know, like a like a Corvette. Yeah. How they're in the back. Deal. Okay. But it's the transmission is very similar to like a front wheel drive. Audi from like the mid Oh, that makes more sense. I never really dove, I, I know the car, mm -hmm. but I haven't really dove into like the drive time too often or yeah. uh, really at all. So I'm, I'm learning a great deal right now. Yeah, so the clutch is up front, torque tube down okay. to the trans at the back. Like Corvette. So that's why it's easy for them to make the bell housing adapter, which bolts onto the front of the torque tube. It's already it's, bolted on there. It fits no problem. Yeah. Oh, I see. That makes yeah. sense now. Nice and easy. Yeah, actually, I can look right here and just see where it's going back. Yep. Interesting. You build a lot of cool things. So yeah, you have the V8 Mark III, you're building the crazy LS swap X5, and you have a five cylinder turbo 944. What other cool things do you have, good sir? Because these are, that's a cool little array of cars. Uh, everything I have is weird. I have too much stuff. I have a Unimog. Oh, those are sweet. It, but... A buddy of mine in Germany had a Unimog. Yeah. So cool. Yep. I've restored it uh, a little over 10 years ago. Yeah. I'm just cruising around with it. I, I just sold it this past summer. It's still at my house. I have to deliver it, but like, those are cool. I swapped it with the Mercedes five-cylinder turbo diesel. Okay. I did a bunch of stuff to it. Yeah. Wow. It was a ton of fun. Yeah, your array of cars is quite cool. Do you yeah. mind if we open up the door? I can see inside oh, yeah. a little bit. Hop around. It's, you can hop in here. It takes a little bit. You gotta be limber. Oh yeah. So I wasn't sure if the cage came with the door at all. No. No. Yeah, you're you're in there. Rally stuff is pretty strict in terms of cage rules. So yeah, if you're going rolling down on top of a mountain, yeah, you're passing sure you're... trees at 100. Like yeah, you don't want to be getting dead. Yeah, it's all about Dude, safety. This thing is gnarly. And I see you got, what full suppression system I see. Yep. Yeah, you need a fire suppression system. 
Wow. So I, I, said, I saw the car and I saw like the theme of it, but I didn't realize it was like authentic. Yep. So you see cars that are like themed a certain way, yeah, but no, this no. is like the this real is deal. So intended for competition. Those. That's awesome. You say it's already, it's already all ready to go and like to do the thing. Yep. When's your, when's the first one or? No, I was trying to do something this summer, but then I got to finish the X5. So. Okay. That's. Well, I will There's be. a couple other events. I want to do a couple more shakedowns on it. And yeah. Feel a little more comfortable with the chassis, but. Well, I'll definitely. Uh, put some miles on it. Want to see this thing rip. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, where where Monday, would the first event be? Ride, oh, Monday? Yeah. I will be here Monday. I said, if it works out, awesome. If not, I'm not going to pressure yeah, you. But, yeah. like, this would be, this thing's cool. The more I'm learning about it and the more I see the little details and, like, it's authentic. There's a lot of little details. Like, look at the switches in the middle. So. Yeah, let's squeeze past your side of that. Yeah, you can hop in. The, the key is left foot first if you're going to hop in. Left foot first. Okay, let me see if so I can. So now stand on the seat. So hold that like a bit. Yeah. It's I'll do a left. So left foot first. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's cozy in there. It is. So I got little nine four fours on the switches. I had custom laser etched. I see. Yeah, I see. Such cool details. Anti lag. Yeah, it's this actual anti lag through the mega squirt. So okay. that cracks I modified the throttle body. It's a VR6 throttle body with the electric idle portion and then cable for the Share rest of it. Share that everybody? VR6. It's not a VR6 at all, but like that's my engine, so like it's yeah. cool that there's some part of it in this car. Yeah. And you said Mega Squirt's running everything. Yeah. Okay. Yep. There's MS3 uh, Evo, the. Okay. The Dude, this thing is gnarly. Got the full hydro and everything on it. Yep. I got the launch control button on top. It's, the hydro is drilled for It's that. funny in these cars, whenever I see the stock, I just think Mark II. Yeah, I know. It's like this exact same thing in the yep. door. It the is door the handles stock. are. Yep. Yeah, it's just like Mark II. Yep. Same part number, same thing. Yep, exactly. Dude, this thing is ridiculous, man. Everything's functional. Yep. Like those vents are to keep the dust out, so you positively pressurize the cabin when you're on stage. Okay. And that keeps all the dust from creeping in through the nooks and crannies of the doors and all the vents and stuff like that. So and that's how you maintain visibility. It's cool. Like when you see rally cars just ripping, like you don't really think about how much. I mean, you might a little bit like that kind of stuff, like yeah. pressurizing the cabin to keep dust out. Like I would have never thought of like that level of like. You do the first time you don't have them open, and you can't you see down, anything. Like, a dusty stage, yeah. Jeez. Oh yeah, I see the shocks back there. Is that the reservoir? Yep. Yep, on the on the cage. Dude, this thing is nuts. So how, how long in total did like this build like take you? Uh, probably nearly a year. And you bought the car. It was just a stock 944, mm -hmm. right? So I bought it for the first winter breeder challenge we did on YouTube. I bought the 944 for that. Oh, that's this car. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So I remember that from way back. Yep. I didn't realize it was the same car. Yep. That's it's this all car. coming that was together. My dream the whole time is I wanted a 944 to do rally stuff. So. Dude, like you're like in here oh yeah yeah i mean you're flying past trees at 100 miles an hour you want some yeah, you beefy want some boys beef. to keep you uh intact oh this is still glass yes oh, yeah, it okay, has yeah. to be glass oh it does okay i wasn't sure they needed like maybe lexan or something different no they want glass for front windows interesting you can do lexan side how come the rule for that oh thing come protruding through yeah I think okay it's there. they don't also like it scratches too easily with dirt yeah and stuff, so. that, that's true they don't want I you to, impaled i had a, an incident with the hood and the window that didn't work out, so I need a new windshield. But I hear you. Way she goes. Well, I, I, like these, so they got sorry. a boost and launch, so you can turn these up, and that's boost control through the mega squirt. So oh I wow! Can control how much boost. So if it's you know super slippery stage or something like that, I can knock it down, and then I have different launch RPMs I can play with for the launch control. Dude, this separate from the anti lag. Oh, is this a real this, this one up here on the button? Yep. So you can hold the car. Preload the drivetrain on the on the hydro, and then also yep. hit the wow. Yep. There's a lot of thought in this car. Well, Jimmy, just talking to you with the the Mark III and the the X5, you put a lot of like I love how detailed the things. You, this well, is thanks. cool. I'm glad not everyone sees a lot of that stuff. This is this is, a, like, this is like this. the I guess like maybe not nerdy stuff, but like the detail oriented. I love that kind of stuff. Me the too. little things that just make a car like over the top. Yep. Wow, this thing's sick. It's funny when I got here today, I was like, I'm just gonna hang out a little bit, maybe not film anything, the intro's gonna film, but like, this has been fantastic. I yeah. love this. <laughs> it's been all three of your cars. I just filmed the Mark III <laughs> to the X5 to this. This thing is nuts. I, I, I appreciate you talk, taking the time to talk to me about this yeah, car. Yeah, no problem. I love the details and just so many cool little bits to it. Dang. What a cool car. Well, I'll be definitely looking out to see this thing actually, uh, on the road and doing this thing. Yep. He said possibly Monday we can go for a ride. 
If yeah. it works out, cool. If not, not a big deal. Yeah. And then you have an See Instagram? See how this weekend goes. Yep. What's, what, you would just let everyone know what that is? Mike the Day. Mike the Day. I need to check that out as well. I've been, I've been missing it. out on some cool stuff, clearly. <laughs> this is crazy. And then this pulls to close it? Yeah, well, it's... So then you can go to the vacuum too if you want to. Oh, I see. So, in the front, pulling air from the front of the car and then also yep. vacuum. It was like tilting the sunroof, you know? Yeah. You yep. always feel that little bit of suction on the yep. highway. So, it makes a difference for I sure. I love And that was something you built the cage. Yep. Yeah, you built everything. I, I, yep. I have to ask. Yep, I need all that. God, this thing is so beefy. Yeah, well, at least you know you're very, very protected in this car. You yeah, need that's, the. That's what I was after. And these seats are nice. Yeah, I had the the halo seats with the thing beside oh, it. Yeah, right here. But like I found that. So the other fear for me was it takes up a fair amount of the door jam. So yeah. if there were a fire, I want to get out. Yeah, I mean the halo so, pipe comes right right here, give or take. Yeah. So and you have then you have like this, this box. So yeah, I returned those because I got too nervous about it. I like yeah. the idea of the safety of the halo, but yeah. also getting not out. burning to death alive. Yeah, yeah no, I, yeah, that's a that's you a, know, it's a balance. That's a that's a normal fear. I see that. Yeah. Balance. And then pedals are stock. Yep. Normal. Yep. It's floor mounted too. Tape. Nice. Yeah, it's factory guy. It's funny. This is my friend Kayla has a 944, and I sat at her car to show earlier this year. I was like, oh, this is the first 944. I noticed the Mark II kind of stuff in it. Yep. And now this is the second 944 I've been in, and this thing's like from her car being like a show car lowered on the like RSs to now like full blown like rally car. Mm -hmm. I've been in some cool 944s. Yeah. I've always wanted one. They're, they're they're just cool. Yep. And they're still cheap. Like yeah. They're easy to find if you're not looking for a super nice one. Yeah, I know the 944 Turbo, the Turbos are the expensive ones. Yeah, yeah. But just a normal 944, the NA, and this yeah. one, what was the engine in this car before? Four cylinder. Four cylinder. And they also came with a, a straight six, correct? Or am I or wrong? No, just a four cylinder. Yeah, there's a couple okay. different four cylinders. From gotcha. My understanding. Okay. But this is an early car for a 944. This yeah. Is a, well, they, they started in 83 was the first year of the 944. This is like a weird, goofy, like two of 82 car or something. So it's like the first, first 944. Yeah, I, I appreciate the full walkthrough because this thing has yeah. so many great details in it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I did like the quilting and stuff in the door panel. and. Are they still electric windows? I yep. see. Yep. Nice. It's just easier when you can put down both windows without having enough, especially yeah. like crank windows. You're going to hit the cage. Like, yeah. And you're gonna, it won't fit. Right. No, that makes sense. I did crank windows. Actually, I, the Mark III I retrofitted back to crank windows because I had all sorts of power window issues because I didn't have you the rest that? of the wiring for the chassis. Like, well, everyone thinks I'm crazy. In the Mark III, I always say crank windows because the factory regulators always just die. Yeah, I had a regulator die, and then I had a motor die, and then for whatever reason, because of the wiring in the car and it's yeah. missing too many things, where like it wouldn't notice the up limit and it just grenade the motors after a Oh, you're just trying to keep going up. Oh, yeah. dang. So like I yeah. tried a couple different ones. I'm like, you know what? We'll just go with. Crank windows. Cranks in a Mark III are just usually the way. Yep. It's I had just, to phase the, the crank move. though so that it doesn't hit the cage. Yeah, that makes sense. Because otherwise it's it's like right there. Yeah, it fits in between. I don't have as big of a gusset on that. Oh, so that's like, smart. That's really cool. So you have to open the door to put the window up or down. But ah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I love how the uh, right yep. in the middle. It almost like, funny enough, like it almost looks like OEM. Yeah, there was you a You don't really there. notice it too much. It kind of just fits really nicely in there. Yeah, I 3D printed that. The little buttons and stuff so I can change the brightness. Of... You do great work, sir. I really appreciate the level of detail you do on these cars. Hey, thank you. Very cool stuff. So yeah, this is uh, definitely not your average 944. This thing and all of Mike's cars are gangster. V8 swapped Mark III four-wheel drive drift car. 25 turbo in a 944 and lsx in the x5 just wild creations all super super cool very different but all very unique and you yeah, know this thing is absolutely amazing the level of detail in this car all the functional bits i mean this thing is i'm a mark three guy at heart you guys know that but the 944 is uh this thing's pretty cool not a second so i don't know whose poster this is but i don't have this one that's awesome. I need that. If you have this poster and want to trade it to me, I have a few for trade that I have extras of. Like I think I have, mm, maybe not that one, but I have a handful of extra posters. And if you have this one from your district 20, 2018 with the Mark III Jet on it, if you want to trade this poster, I'll trade you because then I need that one.
I just realized we are a decent bit in this video. I haven't mentioned where I'm at, what I'm doing, or why all these cool cars are just all over the place. Currently in Ohio at ECS Tuning. So today we're kind of just hanging out, did a little shop tour, saw a bunch of Mike's cars again, shot the Mike same time, talked to me about his ridiculous builds, and then just seeing more stuff that's here. And then tomorrow heading down to ECS Tuning to Euro District. shot of the whole building because it's massive it goes from there all the way to, to wait hold on hold on hold on hold there i did not know how massive this place was it's ridiculous as you can see there are tons of enthusiasts who work here because there's just like there's definitely cool cars everywhere out here So we are going to wrap up this video. I am exhausted from traveling today. Honestly, I didn't even plan on making a video at all today, but um, the shop was super cool and Mike was there, took us to his cars. And I mean, those cars are so just the level of detail on each car and they're so different from chassis to chassis, but the swaps are cool. The execution's so good. Just overall, real nice dude, super cool build. And the entire ECS shop and warehouse, it's massive. So it was super cool to actually stop by everything out today i said tomorrow morning we're leaving pretty early with the ecs crew and heading down to your district i think from here it's like a five hour drive and then we'll be in town for your district it's my first time going to the show i've been wanting to go for years i have posters and shirts from this show for multiple years but unfortunately i've never actually made it out of the show until this year so i'm hyped so we're going to the show i'll see you there can't wait but other than that hope you guys enjoyed today's video do not forget be thankful for every single day we'll see you guys next time peace